we now look at a very simple form of the hazard function, uh, a power law type, uh, but it turns out to be very versatile. Um, so uh, h of t is simply uh, c times t to the power of b, where c and b are two constants. So parameterized by these two, uh, what possible shapes can h take first? And then which distribution uh, does this uh, hazard function conform to? So let's, let's derive that step by step. So if we plot uh, h versus t, uh, we see that it is capable of, as a power law does, uh, reproducing all sorts of shapes. So uh, when uh, b is 0, then uh, we obviously get the constant uh, hazard function, constant failure rate. So immediately we see that this corresponds to the exponential time to failure. Uh, now, but what about the others? Because uh, for uh, uh, b greater than uh, 0, we have uh, an increasing type hazard function. So you can see b, uh, I have three values there, b of uh, 0.5, b of 1, and b of 2. And you can see that they are all uh, of an increasing nature uh, and rising faster and faster, obviously, as b increases. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when uh, b is less than 0, so b is, say, minus 0.5, negative 0.5, uh, then we have the orange curve, which gracefully uh, starts from a very high value and then keeps falling and falling. Uh, b equals minus 1 uh, is also shown there uh, that has even a faster drop, but obviously uh, we have to be careful. Uh, is this even a legitimate hazard function? We have to worry about that. But um, so when b is equal to 0, we know that it's uh, acceptable because we've already seen that. Uh, it comes from the exponential, but for other values of b, uh, do they give uh, rise to legitimate hazard functions? Uh, and if so, uh, what are the distributions? So let's write out the reliability function in terms of the power law hazard function. Uh, and uh, it's straightforward. It's exponential of negative integral from 0 to t of uh, c x to the power b dx. Uh, x is the dummy variable, of course. So uh, we can go through the steps and uh, we uh, come up with uh, an expression exponential of negative c times t to the power of b plus 1 divided by b plus 1. And we need to make sure that this is valid when uh, b is greater than negative 1. So b equals minus 1 is not going to be admissible. Uh, now let us uh, subtract that from 1 and that gives me the CDF of the time to failure whose hazard function has that power law type c t to the power of b. So uh, this should look familiar. And uh, those of you who have gone through all the different uh, functional forms of the CDFs, you have recognized by now that this is simply the, the viable form. Uh, and just to make sure that we put it back in the familiar form uh, of, of the viable, uh, let us do some substitutions. So uh, we. Uh, uh, for b and c, we substitute two quantities, k and u, just to use familiar notations. So uh, b plus 1, uh, we substitute with k. And 1 over uh, c over b plus 1, we substitute with 1 over u to the power of k. So that brings us uh, to more familiar territories. and. Uh, that clearly looks like the, the, the viable form, which is 1 minus exponential negative t over u whole to the power of k. So that's what we 
uh, have seen viable before. And that, just to make sure, is the, the two-parameter viable uh, that uh, we have uh, identified in the past. And so uh, that is the relationship between the hazard function form and the CDF form. Uh, because we have brought everything down to uh, u and k, so the hazard function, if you like, uh, is expressed in terms of k and u uh, on your screen. So t is raised to the power of k minus 1. And the reliability function is now simply exponential of minus t over u to the power of k. And that's uh, what we saw. So uh, when uh, k is uh, equal to 1, b0, k is equal to 1, that's when we get the exponential form, the constant failure rate. So interestingly, we see that uh, the viable distribution is quite versatile. It can uh, model a constant failure rate, the exponential special case, and increasing failure rates and decreasing failure rates. So uh, we should feel very safe in choosing the viable uh, for a time to failure uh, random variable and once we have the data we can see if it's decreasing type or increasing type or constant and then select the parameters accordingly.